which will talk about. Let's see what they will talk about. Are you ready? I am ready. Go! Hello, my name is Alan Lal. I'm a web developer, farmer, and a permaculture designer. This here is Anna. She's like a normal person, like you. <laughs> really? She's not fake. And uh, she likes to eat local. But usually, when she likes that, the it takes her hours and end searching Facebook and Googling around, trying to find local produce only to find the ad has expired, the farmer is a hundred kilometers away, or it's a little bit iffy. So she usually just gives up, goes to the supermarket and buys some Chinese crap. <laughs> this, however, is Martin. He's a hobby gardener. He loves the garden. Just loves it. But the day he picked some carrots, he grew them himself. He's really proud of them. He would hate them to go to waste, but you can only eat this much carrots and they were fed up with them. And his family is also fed up with the carrots. And what are you going to do? So, since he isn't a huge pro producer, he doesn't do this every day, uh, it would take him hours and hours to put up ads, pay for the ads, pay a monthly subscription fee, wait for weeks and weeks until someone actually calls and by that time the carrots are all rotten and wasted. So we have an issue and this issue isn't, isn't rare, it's really common in Estonia and around the world. Lots of waste is like this. So we are introducing a solution for this. It's called Veggie Radar. And uh, with Veggie Radar, Martin gets an app. With that app, he can add his carrots on sale. And Anna just happens to be nearby, just a few kilometers from Martin, and gets a push notification on her phone that some carrots are available near her. She immediately books the carrots, and they meet up, and it's just beautiful. The carrots get an owner. <laughs> Anna gets some good carrot stew the night before. But she would also love to eat something sweet afterwards, so she's gonna look, look for some fruit. So it's, a, it's actually a good, good app to connect uh, people, connect neighbors, because it's quite rare these days that neighbors actually know each other, sadly. And it's a community building tool and an education tool. We can uh, help the gardeners grow better crops, and we can connect the people with the gardeners, we can build trust amongst the system. And it also reduces the carbon footprint because you're going close, you're not driving 100 kilometers for two cars, which is stupid. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I would love to use it. It's like, uh, we made our Facebook page yesterday and we already got a thousand likes on Facebook, so I think it's good. What do you think? So this is like Tinder for carrots. That's Tinder for carrots, yeah. Got it. I finally got it. Two carrots can beat that. Okay. Uh, so do we have questions from Julie now? Because actually, I did want to ask, how the hell did you get a thousand likes in Facebook? I have no idea. People like the idea. It's like, I came to the idea when I was trying to tell into this event in the middle of the night, and then just like, oh, maybe I should enter it. Maybe someone likes it. Or I just get to practice my pitching on Friday, but I don't know. It just went out of my hands. Yeah, because actually, actually this guy did an awesome presentation also on Friday. So it wasn't like so uh, difficult for him to get the team, and as you can see, he got a very good team. But anyway, let me see your team. Let's everybody from team run to the stage now of the two carrots. <laughs> you got very, very many carrots in your team. So let's have a big hand to the rich in order. Thank you.